Now, dear children, let us consider some more questions in the square root. For example, find the number that must be added to 250. 250 to get a perfect square. To find the number which is to be added to 250 to make it as a perfect square. Now, let us check whether it is a perfect square or not. How? First, group make groups by putting bars. First group, second group. From left to right in the integers. Then, in which is the, the highest perfect square less than 2 or into 1. So, put the 1 here, 1 here also. 1, 1 into 1, 1. Then, double of 1, 2. Then, in this position, 2. 2 minus 1, minus 1. Bring down the next loop, 50. Whatever the number we write, that number we must write here also. And the product of this number and the whole this part, we must write here. So, um, 5, 5, 25 into 5, 125. 5 into 125, 5 into 25. This number into this part, 2 digit number. This 5, when we write 5 here, we must write 5 here also to get a perfect square or, or completely um, equal to this number or less than that number. Now, uh, 25. 25. That is, what in the question is what number is added to 250 to get it as a perfect square. So, um, 25. To this the remainder 250 minus 25 is equal to 225 is a perfect square. It is less than 250. That is 225 is 15 into 50. 15 into 15 equal to 225, which is less than 250. But if we require greater number, greater than 250 to become, which is a perfect square. So, 15 square is, a, is 225, which is less than 250. Now, check the 16 square. <coughs> 15 square, 225. 16 square. 16 into 16. 256. Equal to 256, which is greater than 250. So, 256 is greater than 250 and which is a perfect square. So, what is to be added to 250 to get the, the next perfect square or a square number? 256 minus 250 is equal to 6. 6. So, the number added to 250 is 6 to make it as a perfect square. So, the answer is 6. <coughs> Now, using the same idea, we can check uh, another question. What number is to be subtracted from 250? Which number is to be subtracted from 250 to make it as a perfect square? Which number is to be subtracted? Minus. So, <coughs> which, number, which is a perfect square less than 250? 225. 225. So, which number is to be subtracted to get to that number? 250 minus 225. Because 220, we have already found out that 15 square equal to 225. 225. 225 minus 25. 225. So, 225 is a perfect square which is less than 250. So, what number is to be added from, sorry, subtracted from 250 to make it, to get a perfect square? 2, 225 minus uh, 250 minus 225 equal to 25. That is, we when we subtract 25 from 250, we get a perfect square. When we add, <coughs> um, sorry, when we subtract 250 from 256, we get a 6. When we add 6 to 250, we get a perfect square. When we subtract 25 from 250, we get a, a perfect square. <coughs> then, another important sentence. 
we want to discuss is estimating the uh, number of digits in the square root of square root of a number. For example, nine, <coughs> nine. How many digits are the digit or group? First, only one group. Then, what is the square root? Uh, square root of nine, three. How many digits? Uh, one. Then, hundred. How many groups? Uh, one, <coughs> two. What is the uh, how many digits? Uh, two digits. Two groups. How many groups? Three digits. Two groups. Then what is the square root? Ten. Two. Then <coughs> one thousand six hundred. How many digits? Four digits. Two groups. Two groups. Group. Groups. Then what is the square root of this? Square root forty. How many digits are there in the square root? Two. Two. So, according to the, what do we understand from this? How can we estimate the number of digits in the square root of a number? According to the number of groups, according to the, here one group in the square root of one digit, two groups, two digits, two groups, two digits, then <coughs> two seventy two. Here, how many groups? One, two, three groups. Three groups. Three groups. Square root of one sixty five. How many digits? Three. Three groups. Three digits. So, to find the number of digits in the square root of a number, which is equal to make it into group and count. How many groups are there? The number of groups in an integer or in a number is same as the number of digits in its Square root. Now we can also estimate uh, estimate the square root. Suppose we want to find uh, the square root of eighty. Eighty. We know that eighty one is a perfect square square number, but eighty is not a perfect square. But we can find the approximate of square root of eighty. Now eighty uh, is Less than sixty-four. Sorry, uh, say eighty is greater than sixty-four, but less than eighty-one. Sixty-four is a perfect square. That is eight square. Then eighty-one uh, nine square. So eighty eight square less than eighty less than nine square. Less than nine square. So. <coughs> Root of sixty-four. That is root of sixty-four less than root of eighty-one. Less than uh, sorry, root of eighty less than root of eighty-one. Sixty-four less than eighty less than eighty-one. Sixty-four eight square eighty-one nine square. So root of sixty-four eight less than root eighty less than nine. Less than nine. So which is the nearest number to? Root eighty, root eighty one. That is root eighty one nine. So root eighty, approximate value of root eighty is approximately equal to nine. Nine. So another example. Approximate. What is the approximate of um, root one twenty five? One twenty five. 125 lies between uh, what is 11 square 121 12 square 144 125 lies between 120 1 to 144 that is root of 121 less than root of 125 less than root of 144 that is 11 less than root of 125 less than root of uh, 144 12 So, what is the approximate value of uh, approximate of root one twenty five? Approximate of root one twenty five is twelve. So, in this way, we can estimate the roots. We estimate the roots. Thank you.